This is what you get, Batman. This is what you get. Yes. Did I kill it? I don't think we killed it. Oh, it's not dead. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Arc here on our cluster series. And look how freaking adorable Winston looks. Oh my God. He's got the, I think it's called the cute dino. Yeah, cute dino helmet uh, or hat thingy. And man, it looks super cute on him. Actually, I'm kind of curious. What would it look like if it was dyed up? Let's quickly just grab some dye here. Uh, so in today's episode, I want to go out and tame that 180 Bracky that we saw close to the base. It's like literally right over there by like the beaver area. And I want to tame it before somebody else tries to. <laughs> uh, I don't really think anything in the game could really kill a Bracky. So it should still be there. Uh, but I haven't actually checked. Now I'm kind of wondering if it actually is there. Yeah, that looks a little bit nicer. But maybe a darker blue would look better. And maybe some red on the top. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, Winston looks adorable. I actually also have uh, my skull helmet on. This is my favorite skin in the game because it just looks amazing. It's got two color regions where you see red and where you see cyan. And the red does the horns and the teeth and that just looks fantastic. And then obviously the cyan does the rest. And I just kind of painted it cyan because, um, I don't know, it's kind of like my color. But yeah, looks super amazing. It doesn't go onto a tech helmet though, so that's kind of unfortunate. I'm wearing a riot helmet right now though, so that's okay. To be honest, the tech helmet kind of gets annoying with the overlay and everything. But I also have a gift here for Jim because if you guys saw the video where we did the Rockwell fight, uh, Jim actually died in, in the arena and he didn't even get anything. And I know that he likes this skin. I've seen uh, him use this skin a bunch. So I went ahead and painted it uh, yellow. I think it's just regular yellow for him. Uh, but it kind of doesn't really look like regular yellow. <laughs> So I just threw that onto a Mastercraft uh, riot helmet and we're going to give that to him in a little bit. But uh, first, let me show you the Rockwell Shrine. So here's what we got so far. We got one flag. We've got the trophy. We got the dermis. Um, the little tentacle dermises don't work. I mean, they go into the uh, taxidermy base, but they're suspended by like five walls up in the air and then they start and they're massive. So I don't think I could actually use those. One thing I could do is put the taxidermy thing for the tentacles down here somewhere and kind of like hide it and then have it come up through the floor. But I just don't think it would look good because they're just giant. But maybe I'll I'll, I'll see if we could do something. We'll see. But uh, yeah, there's our Rockwell stuff. It looks super amazing. Got to fight him a bunch more times because I need more flags. And uh, everything else in here looks super amazing as well. I wish there was like more things like the shields. That's awesome that the Manticore has that. And like nothing else here for any of these other guys. I don't know. We might see if we can find some cool stuff to maybe put up there anyway um yeah let's go over and just check out and just see if this bracky still what am i doing i'm just like looking for a creature you know what we'll, we'll take chandra for the moment because we actually found the bracky with chandra i'm just wondering now if it's actually even still in this spot i'm pretty sure it was here so oh there it is okay that's probably it let me check oh my god please be it i don't remember it being that color so is this it show me your oh do i have oh. God damn, I have my stupid overlay turned off. <laughs> Let's see. No! Oh, crap. Okay, maybe it was the, the other waterfall. I think? I can't remember now. I'm going to have to go back and look at that video. Uh, is it? Was it over here? It might have been over this side. I'm not exactly sure at this moment now. Was it over this side? Please tell me it was. It was a 180, and I think it was a female. No, I don't see it. And they are giants, so you definitely see them from far. Uh, what could have killed it? I don't I don't think it was back this far, to be honest. I think it was actually down where that other Bracky was. Uh, that sucks. All right. Um, I guess we're just going to go out and look for another high level here today, then. I want... I want a really high level because I want to do some breeding with them. We're not going to do any sort of crazy mutations, but maybe we'll do a little bit of that here today. We won't stack mutations. We'll just combine. So we'll just get a few and then we'll uh, combine them together and just make a really cool looking Bracky in terms of colors. But yeah, that kind of sucks. That's what they look like. They are super cool, really difficult to tame. So this might end up being a long episode because now we got to go look for one. Um, you know, it was probably the Griffins that killed it. There's two Griffins here and everything. There's never really two. There's only ever one, if any. Damn it. All right. Whatever. One more thing, actually, that I wanted to do was quickly just craft up a tech sleeping chamber. We get back into our base. Let's just fly in through here. The rest of it needs to load in. There we go. We got some of it. That's still missing. 
<laughs> All right, so tech sleeping chamber. Um, let's just type sleeping. What's it called? Sleeping pod? Yeah, sleeping pod. So that is going to be amazing. Not too expensive, to be honest. It's actually reasonable in terms of uh, materials there. Like, nothing there is that difficult to get. Probably the hardest thing to get there is actually the metal, which is very, very strange how something as OP as this is super cheap. Maybe they made it that way so everybody uses them when you have a tribe with them. Um, so let's go ahead and actually replace... Let's take you away. What's in this box over here? Main gear. Just a bunch of my crap. Hmm. Maybe we'll put it like here for the moment because I usually put some of my gear in there too. We'll just put it down here for the moment. We'll paint it up at some point. But this thing is so cool. So you lay inside of it and as you can see I have an XP buff in my in the corner of my screen right there. If I log off in this, I'll log back on with more levels. And right now, we can go up to level 120, which is really cool. Uh, because we got the extra 15 levels on top of 105 from fighting Rockwell. So, yeah. 120 is our max level currently, and we definitely gotta just go straight for that. Because when I defeat the King Titan and get an extra 15... Wait, no. I don't even have to fight him. <gasps> yeah, no, I have to fight the Overseer. But I do have to fight him. Uh, there's a bunch of tech engrams uh, here. Let me show you. Right down here. Uh, yeah, all of these things right here. So they'll all unlock when we're at 135. So we got to fight the Overseer as well and get the levels from that. But we also got to level up to that level so we can actually get those things. But all those things down at the very bottom cost like King Titan uh, trophy thing to actually craft and stuff. So they're super expensive, but they're also really high tier. And those are the things that are going to replace these signs. So they are super high tier, very expensive S plus thingies. And they're going to replace all those signs and fill up our workshop here. So we got to go for that at some point. But um, I think for the moment, we're just going to focus on leveling. And maybe we'll go for the Overseer at some point soon. I want to fight the island bosses. Even though I've already gotten the trophies, I still want to actually fight the bosses on the island. Especially the dragon, because the dragon on the island is a whole different fight from it being on like a map where there's the dragon and another boss. Like here on Ragnarok, you have the dragon and the Manticore and on Valkyro, we have dragon, Manticore, and Megapithecus. Those fights are easy. The dragon's the easiest one to kill, which is surprising. But the dragon by itself is a very difficult boss fight. So yeah, I got to do that at some point on the island just to prove my worth. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get going with some stuff here. I'm just going to pack up some stuff to get ready to tame another Bracky, but I also got to find it, and we're also going to gift this thing to Jim. So, yeah, lots of things to do, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I want to give Jim another gift. <laughs> he didn't even remove the sign from the last gift. He definitely took it, though, because he had it during that Rockwell fight. Let's leave another gift and be even more intrusive. Uh, let's put it, like, right here. And a sign... Bam, because you died. And then maybe like a sad face. <laughs> All right, here we go. And that is for you, Jim, my friend. Enjoy. He really likes that mask, so I figured I might as well give it to him because I personally think it looks rubbish. But yeah, just my opinion. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start looking for Brackies. There is actually one over here. I've already checked it. It's only a level 24, so maybe I'll go ahead and just kill that thing really quick. And maybe I'll have to kill, like, a bunch more. Um, but I do... Oh, no. You took my tech helmet, you little... Get... You stay away from Night Owl. Get back here, you little... Ooh, I'm gonna kill ya. Give me back. My tech helmet. Don't you frickin' fly away with that thing. Ass. <laughs> I hate Pego so much. Oh, I should go back and get a silencer for this. Yeah, I should totally get a silencer. It will help it. Oh my. Jim, you've got a pego problem around your base. Please deal with this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I got to go ahead and actually head back to get a silencer for this because when we do manage to find a Bracky, I'm going to be shooting at it with this mostly, but uh, it helps to have a silencer just to kind of stop so much recoil. So I'll have to head back to base. But anyway, I'm going to start looking for Brackies. Hopefully, we can get lucky and find a really good level. We need a male. I've already checked and looked at our previous one. I think our previous one was either a 180 or a 174, and I can't remember because it was a good while ago. But, um, yeah. So, we need a male, a high level, and it doesn't have to be beautiful because we're going to 
hopefully get some mutations done here today. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I found a 180 female. Maybe this is the same one. We're super far away. It cannot be. Oh, we got some bugs on us. Die. Anyway, so yeah, this is definitely not the same one, but I've killed a couple high levels so far, and actually, I'm already level 106, and if you look at my experience bar, I'm the bottom set of stats right there. I'm already probably around a quarter of the way towards 107, which is kind of crazy. So these things give so much XP when you kill them. But uh, yeah, we're going to attempt this here. Hello, Gally. Um, Let's just go ahead and check out Mystique. Bam. Alrighty, so... The way to tame these things is kind of different from everything else, and I'm going to explain it as though you do not know how to do it, uh, because I imagine this is probably some people's first time actually seeing this thing. So, the way to tame it is not with tranks. You actually have to inflict damage to its legs. Basically, we'll, we're going to go ahead and aggro it, and maybe it will start doing it. Basically, what it does is it does this kind of, like, preparation for an attack where it stands on its hind legs, and when it does that... It like walks around on its hind legs, but at that point you can shoot its back legs. It also loses aggro really, really quick, so we gotta keep shooting it here. Come on. But uh, yeah, so basically it goes on its hind legs and you just shoot at its ankles for a little while and then eventually it will knock out. But what you wanna do is shoot at it with maybe like an assault rifle or something at the very start and then switch to something single shot. Like I recommend a fabricated sniper, but that's just me. Uh, I mean, you could continue to use an assault rifle if you want to. Uh, let's see. Come on. Already lost aggro again. This thing's crazy. It just constantly loses aggro. There's another one over there. Hopefully, I don't draw that one over. What level are you? 18? Poop. Let's uh, quickly just see if we can get this one to do its hind legs thingy. It will do it eventually. It's just, it just keeps de-aggroing, though. Maybe if I go behind it. That could work kind of tick it off make it want to turn around and do its giant attack the giant attack does like several thousand damage as well so it's kind of crazy oh it's doing it okay let's try and hit its legs as much as we can great it stopped doing it already okay it's doing it again this is perfect Getting tons of uh, damage in, meaning tons of torpor. So those 15 damage ones mean that I'm actually doing the torpor damage. Oh, wow, it's like walking here for ages. Okay, I don't know how close it would be right now. Probably... Is it already out? Uh-oh. I definitely hit it after. I didn't think I would get it out there. Wow, it went out in one go. Are you kidding? Yep, I hit it. And it's on like 87%. So I'm just going to heal it for the moment. And then we're going to knock it out again. But that's how you do it right there. I just didn't realize that I was getting that close to the end of the team. Uh, Yeah. I don't know. You probably want to check it. Don't shoot as as much as I did. You want to check it at some point. Can I heal this thing, please? There we go. So I'm going to just heal it up a little bit. Probably doesn't really need it, but I'll do it anyway. And we're, we're going to knock it out without screwing up the tame next time. I hope. Okay. And it's going to do its stomp. Okay, we're good. Let's see. Okay. Good amount of torpor in there. Let's see if we can get it to do that thing again, and then we should be able to knock it out this time. Yes. Get get out of my way, stupid parasaur. What is he doing? He's like flying. <laughs> I think he's down. Yes! Oh, we did not screw that one up. 
Oh man, all right, it is down for the second time. This time it should be good. I definitely didn't screw that one up. Uh, you gotta watch it though. As soon as it like starts wobbling a little bit, that means it's about to go down. So do not shoot it again at that point because you will screw up your team. Anyway, can I access the inventory? Oh, Mystique, what are you doing? You need to stop that. What are you doing? Stop walking by yourself. That scared me. I thought she was about to attack it. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Uh, should take around 25, but I'm going to put around 26 in here. Oh, it's already eaten one, hasn't it? Yeah, 100%. Perfect. All righty, so it, I don't think it's drained much food at all. Uh, yeah, it's drained a good bit. It should eat a few pieces, but it's still going to take a good while to tame up. So I'm going to just sit tight, and uh, maybe I'll just grab Nida and just scan the area just to see if there's anything bad but I think we're mostly good. All right, so we have a few Bracky eggs in here. We're going to just go ahead and hatch a few of them because I'm trying to figure out what the base stats were on the first one that we tamed all those months ago. Uh, which one's the highest level? Is it the 75? I think so. Let's see. Because hmm, I'm looking at the video and it looks... Oh my God, that's the babies? Oh my god, they're so loud. Huh. Yeah, so I'm looking at the video, but I feel like maybe the Bracky was like nerfed or something since then. I don't know, because the other one had like almost 40k health, which was ridiculous. So I don't know. So the green one over there apparently has 40k health and um, I think around 400 melee. Now, it could have been nerfed since then, so I don't know. We'll see. We just got to hatch enough eggs to let me see this is the last one i needed to just kind of oh my god yeah look at that that is the 40k health one damn dude that is insane that is ridiculous that imprinted is gonna have so much health wow okay so we are apparently looking for around 40k health so i don't think it was nerfed since then because our new one only has like 31 which is kind of crazy so that's a massive difference like that's the new one 32 basically the other one has 8k more <laughs> that's ridiculous so um the first one has like 400 melee so we don't want the new melee and the stamina i don't know i think the first one had lower stamina so the 15 yeah this is what the first one had so the 1500 is the one that we want uh anyway we're gonna go ahead and kill some of these they have the same death animation but this should also be a crap ton of xp i guarantee i leveled up like Oh my god, I leveled twice? Dude, okay, no. That is ridiculous. Let's go ahead and just work on some health here. Um, yeah, I'm almost leveled again. We're going to be max level by the end of this video, I think. I don't even think we needed that sleeping chamber at all. Oh my god. Oh, this one's got a melee mutation, but no cool color from what I can tell. Okay. Uh, there's a, another one right there. That's another mutated creature without without a color variation. I feel like maybe they don't get... Also, their faces are super weird. Yeah, I feel like maybe they don't get that. Oh my god, this thing has a, a health mutation on it. Wow, that goes up by a huge amount. What is their base again? Let me see. Which Where's my guy? There he is. Oh, okay, so 38, 800, and you are 41. <laughs> oh my god, that went up by a huge amount. That is insane. That's like over 2k. But it's not actually, but you know, it's kind of close to 2k. Not really, but it's like 1.5k. Shut up. It's 1.5k. That is actually insane. Let's go ahead and uh, one health. Sweet. All right, so we can get rid of all the rest of them here. And just roll in all my levels because I know I'm going to get a ton from this. This is ridiculous. I mean, we would have leveled up anyway, considering I have a sleeping chamber, but this just means that I don't have to use the sleeping chamber to get up there. Okay, we got another one over here. All right, got to make sure we don't hit that guy's tail. Although I don't think one hit with the euthanasia gun would kill him, so probably... I don't think it would. Probably not. Let's see. Anything there? 
No. All right. Well, I think I'm going to keep breeding and hatching just because I feel like I should continue to do it until I can confirm I'm not getting any color variations. Because at this current moment, we've I think we got four mutations out of this whole batch here. And every single one didn't really have any color variations. So I'm like 90% 90, 90 sure that we're not going to get anything. But it's worth trying a little bit more just to see. So I guess I can kind of confirm that you cannot get color mutations on the Brachies. There's another one there without a color mutation. Uh, it keeps zipping around though. It's way in the back now. Wait, there it is. Ugh. Right here. Uh, and just before people kind of... Oh my god, they're so glitchy. Just before people get confused. As you can see on that one, it kind of has like brown spots, I suppose. And then on this one, it just has like a dark green or something. Uh, in that spot so that is not the mutation on these but yeah you can see um where's the 295 where the hell is that one gone uh i can't even see it oh there it is in the back you can see with this one it has the brown uh not a mutation this one has the green um yeah so i don't i don't know you obviously can't get like color mutations on them that's slightly disappointing considering it's such a well done mod kind of bugs me out that you don't get color mutations maybe i'll ask him about it and we might be able to revisit this at some point kind of disappointing though so by the way uh this is a weird thing that happened before one of the brachies is growing up and actually like you know its body is getting bigger the other one still looks like an infant and the other one right there the smaller one is actually the melee one if you guys remember the melee one hatched uh before the health one so <laughs> it's just its body is not growing I don't know. Oh, there we go. What? It just grew in front of us. Oh my god. That was weird. <laughs> it's just... It was just an infant and then it just grew up. Alright, great. Anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and disband all of the rest of them here. Uh, we're actually already max level, so I don't really even need to be killing anything with my character. How much XP is that? What is that? One, two, three... That's 8.5 million XP to get to max level. Uh after doing one of the ascensions that's kind of crazy it really is so we can still go higher we just need to kill the overseer but uh for now we're gonna stick with 120 because i don't know when the overseer fight's gonna happen um probably i don't know i'd like to try and do it kind of soon when i say soon i mean in the next month or two but i don't know we'll see we'll definitely see Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grow those two up over there, and then we're going to breed them together and try to combine those mutations. I mean, we might as well. I don't really feel like stacking mutations or anything on these things, even though that would probably be insane to stack health mutations, considering the amount that we got per actual mutation. Um, I'm just going to assume that these things are ridiculous when they're actually fully imprinted and fully mutated with like just a full 20 stack of something. So yeah, um, how are you doing there, buddy? Yeah, you're doing okay. You have enough food. I just, I threw some food in just thinking maybe that would help, but it didn't actually, so. Oh, that's witchy. There we go. So yeah, this one is wanting a cuddle. And then they do that emote, which is really awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and breed these two together when they're fully grown up. And then we're going to go ahead and take the baby and just see how amazing that thing could be, because... My god, considering these things as they are, in, like as a wild tame, the baby's gonna be probably ridiculous, and I wanna go fight a Giga. I'm going to go fight a Giga. It's gonna happen. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys in a while. Okay, so our behemoth is born, grown, imprinted. It just hasn't been leveled yet, so we're gonna take it over here and maybe look for a Giga to fight, because I feel like we gotta fight a Giga. First of all, I mean, this thing is already going to do insane damage. I feel like we can kill a Giga. Uh, as insane as that sounds, we definitely can. We 100% can do that. So, first of all, I want to try it out in these uh, aloes here. Maybe that Bronto over there as well. So, let us just land right here. Hopefully, they're not going to run at me. So, Bracky, bam. <laughs> it's so big. I love them, though. Like, they really are cool. As creatures go, as modded creatures go, like, Garuga's stuff, which is this, the Indominus Rex, those types of creatures, this stuff 
is the best of the best it really is like it is so good let us go ahead and just gnaw away at these things boom 600 damage base for my attack we are bleeding though so that might actually be kind of bad how much are we bleeding down okay not a huge huge amount we're okay okay come on bam oh we're doing 800 okay it lied <laughs> all right so we actually lost a decent amount of health there we lost like 5k oof okay let's see let's do the sea attack oh this is so cool looking i love this <laughs> let us go ahead and just stomp on the stranodon no what are you kidding it does that much how much did what <laughs> how much damage did it do to the freaking how much damage did we do when we weren't imprinted i don't even know are you kidding me this thing's not even leveled yet that is silly why would why is this a thing <laughs> this thing is silly strong like wow okay uh i do believe we can actually harvest as well oh lovely how do we do it again there's like some sort of thing there we go wood harvesting you hit you hit r on your keyboard to do that by the way so we're gonna be efficient in stone okay that's not actually too bad pretty good considering those are tiny little rocks there i wonder how much we'd get from a bigger rock also look at the size difference between the Bracky and the bronto like we'll walk down to where the bronto kind of is so you could just see like look at that size difference let's go ahead and do a uh, ground stomp on the bronto do it dude no way that's silly got rare flowers from somewhere i guess they're probably in the ground okay oh my god okay yeah 500 per rock that's not too bad actually so they made this to be like a harvesting beast they really did i mean this is the type of creature that you'd come out on and just own anything that comes near you but also be able to just gather along the way and then head home with like a full bag full of things like our imprint stat scale is helping this thing be stronger but it's already op like i don't i don't want to say that it's more like i mean obviously it's slightly op more op because of that but like this thing was already op that's the main thing i want to get across here um i gotta find a giga though i don't know if there is one but we gotta we gotta look around for one here um i can't put them away for like another minute and a half though into a cryopod and just move around although do i even have a spare i actually don't have a spare i'd have to throw out night owl first and then do that so that's just not gonna happen let's see um what else can we do i think control is the fear or right yeah there we go so that actually works on gigas which is really cool uh it i mean it seems a little op but this thing is supposed to be the strongest of the strong this thing is supposed to be like the biggest and baddest creature on the map and once somebody has one this is a major threat absolute major threat you don't you don't want to mess with the tribe that has one of these like bred up like everything <laughs> you know you just don't one thing i will say is that actually fighting with it like if the creatures are moving around a good bit you're gonna have a lot of trouble actually dealing with them so if you're playing like a pvp server this type of thing would get shot at from every single direction and in all honesty it would be pretty easy to shoot the rider off the top of this as well like they're very exposed so that's a couple of little balances there actually that's one of my favorite things about it the fact that the rider's on the head like it's just so cool looking you know this is me on the head of the bracky right now it's so cool uh so maybe there's a giga down there cheese has got a bracky as well I don't think his is bred up though not as good as ours huh cheese <laughs> i'm just kidding uh let's get down here though oh okay maybe i'll just have it follow me just because i don't know how it would deal with fall damage we also got to look for a giga so i'll just have it follow me over here and we'll look for a giga we got some aloes but that's not what we want we want a giga to fight 
Hmm. I don't know if there is any. Yeah, I don't see any gigas around here. There could be one over towards the volcano area. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I could just go back to my base and get myself a cryopod. I'm going to need a separate one. So yeah, you know what? No, never mind. I'm just going to walk around in this thing and kill things. Also, by the way, I just want to mention we haven't leveled it at all yet because I don't know what I want to level into it. I really don't. Also, it would probably be better to level it after fighting the Giga because Giga's bleed does a percentage of your health. And if I level it up, I'm not going to have that much health, but I'm still going to have this amount. So if it does a percentage of a higher amount, I'm going to lose my health quicker. I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that one. So yeah, I don't want to do that. Anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes when we can find a Giga to fight. Oh my God, the ultimate test. We have to fight the Bracky against this Titanosaur. I don't know who could win, to be honest. Both of them do a lot of damage. I feel like the Titanosaur is probably going to win, but yeah, let's go ahead and check this thing out. Bam. So I actually leveled uh, all of the levels that we had, which was around 16. I leveled them all into its uh, melee stats. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. First of all, can I fear roar you? I don't think I could fear roar in this form. Okay, hang on. Got to turn around. Got to get ready to do this attack. And is that going to hit? Oh, it did. Nice. Does the fear roar work on you? It does not. Uh oh, okay. That's not good. Ooh, okay. We take a decent amount of damage. We don't deal that much damage to this thing. Wow, it is so much more mobile than I am. <laughs> Bracky versus Titanosaur. I mean, we hurt it a lot with that 23k, but I don't think we can survive against this thing. We're going to have to dip out at some point. Okay. We're going to do this and then attack immediately. Okay. Sweet. So the good part is that the cooldown for it actually starts when you start to use the attack. So you get up on your hind legs and then when you start to use the attack, it takes a second to even hit like around 10 seconds almost. So by the time you've actually done that, uh, you're already like only got like another 20 seconds to do the attack again. So it's pretty amazing. It is. This is a crazy intense looking fight. Almost ready to do it again. I feel like we're going to win. Easily. And uh, taste my feet. So what you get. We've almost done around 90k damage with just that attack to him. Three times so far. We can do this. We can totally do this. We are down by a decent amount of health, as you can see. We're down to like 45k from around 60. So we're taking some serious damage, but we're almost ready to do that attack again. And as you can see, he's pretty bloody. Just got to get ready to do it. Okay. Now. Come on. He takes so long to do anything. There we go. Yeah, so it takes pretty much like five seconds to actually do the attack after we initiate it. So that's pretty amazing. Then another 25 seconds for that cooldown, which is not too bad. I'm going to stop attacking when it gets close to the end of the cooldown, though, just so we're ready to use it immediately. Okay. One more attack. Okay, I probably should have done two more, but it's okay. I'm just going to take the damage. And then here we go. And another one. Come on. How many is that? Five, I think. Oh, wow. Okay, he's running. That's a good sign. Hell yeah. Bracky versus freaking Tatasword. It looks like the Bracky's going to win. I am taller. Slightly. Oh, yeah. I'm actually taller than him. Like... I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, that looks to be just barely taller. I don't know. I don't know if I can catch up with him, though, because he's way faster. We're going to have to try. Arrgh. Come back to me. We actually start to move pretty quick on the hind legs, though. Not going to lie. Oh, he's coming back for more. Look at this. Look at this. Come on. Got to get closer. 
side on view is actually kind of epic not gonna lie oh wow he is super hurt Jai. we're just gonna keep it right here i'm gonna do this so i can see the timer if you just double hit the backspace button you'll get your uh, hood up when you're in k mode fun fact you have to hit it twice though make sure you hit it twice or else it's not gonna happen oh he's gonna die okay we're gonna break this bracky's back we we need to call this one bane we do i think that's what we call the last one okay we're gonna take that away this is what you get batman this is what you get yes did i kill it i don't think we killed it oh it's not dead how are you still alive i just broke your back at least i thought i did oh my god look at him he's just covered in shiny blood Okay, I I wanna I wanna hold out at least to make sure I kill him with the other attack. Okay, we gotta go after him. I wanted that epic shot, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think he wants to run. Okay, we're coming for you. I am taller. I am stronger. I will break your back. Is he coming back? I don't know what's happening. I think he's just running. Oh, he's way faster than I am, though. You may be faster, but you're not stronger and you're not tougher. Look at me. I'm going to kill you. Just wait for it. I'll get there in 10 hours and then I'll kill you. <laughs> this is honestly terrifying looking. Just this very tall bracky. After this very bulky, meaty titanosaurus. <laughs> Come on, no, come back to me, please. I just want to talk. I just want to be your friend. Come back. I can almost grab his tail. That could work. By the way, once I run out of stamina, that's when, uh, that's when I'm going to lose this different, like, bipedal mode. If I run out of stam, it's going to go. Okay, here we go. He's turning. Oh, he wants it. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ah! <laughs> gonna happen boom <laughs> oh my god we just killed a titanosaur i'm gonna take its dermis i already have oh, i don't have it text me tool i already have a titanosaur dermis but that was pretty amazing that was really really epic to be honest not gonna lie oh man and then we roar in victory <laughs> the snake is afraid of me let's step on it there we go we did 1.5k wow that's in that's just incredible um so yeah uh the brachy is stronger than the titanosaurus okay let's see i don't know if we could fight a giga now to be honest i, I don't even want to try like i'd have to fully heal this thing and to be honest at this point we killed something that's tougher than a giga we killed a titanosaur we could kill a giga if we wanted to we will at some point to be honest we did actually kill a giga with the one before the one that was unimprinted and everything so uh, i don't think it was a huge a crazy level giga or whatever so i mean i don't know how we'd fare against like a max level giga on here but i don't know uh that one managed to kill whatever level giga it was they all usually have in around the same amount of health in the wild so yeah that was kind of insane so i reckon that we could kill one i just i can't find one they're not in the highlands right now for some reason there's always gigas in the highlands so i don't know what's going on over there and i haven't seen one in the desert so far but there still could be one out there somewhere i'm not sure but anyway let's quickly take a look at oh my god let's just get this to like 100k i don't see the point of not doing that boom 100k that is ridiculous so much damage so much power wow okay so guys that is gonna be it for today what do you think we should call this thing i'm gonna go with bane i know that we called its grandfather no that wouldn't be i don't know we called that one that we tamed like ages ago we tamed that one and we called it bane because we broke the back of a giga you know bane broke batman's back whatever but um i don't know i kind of want to call it bane but if you guys have a better idea for a name let me know and what do you guys think of it i think the bracky is so cool i really do this should be something in arc but i feel like it's way too overpowered so it should be nerfed down a little bit and maybe introduced to arc just something like this you know with this raw power and like 
tankiness to it. I don't know. Something like this could be really insane for them to actually add to Ark. This is what the Bronto should be. Smush the scorpion. Oof, okay. But anyway, yeah, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.